Hi everyone, I'm Shubhti Mukherjee, Joita Sengupta's close friend from our college days. It has been my utmost pleasure to read the tales from Shivalite and other stories and marvel at the beautiful paintings that Joita has included in her book. What I found most endearing is that the cadence of her narrative style matched seamlessly with the poetic nature of her paintings, both of which are equally evocative. The characters in her stories, be it Devi or Maina, Chanka or Tanmai, come to life in the nitty-gritty details of their everyday existence, their dreams and fears, their passions and heartache with which we the readers can easily relate. The stark contrast between Devi's dream in Shivalite, her pleasant memories and her real life struggles are interspersed with poignant reminiscences about her mother. A line from the story that deeply resonated with me is as follows, and I quote, she who has given her light into her life, light to light her happiness, had no claim to her presence. In monsoon clouds, I encountered the turbulent emotions of a young boy, Tanmoy, who finds an unexpected moment of joy when he grabs his mother's hands and prances about with her on the balcony in the monsoon rains. Who amongst us has not experienced such blissful moments in our childhood? Moina's journey in Naika comes full circle through her vision of the dancing god, in whom her soul seeks contentment. While in Mandaravas, Chanka struggles to find fulfillment in his deep devotion to Lavanya, forsaking all others. But do these characters achieve what they aim for? Do they attain what they yearn for? You will have to read the book to find out. Their unique journeys have been narrated with an almost poetic quality, woven with interesting symbolism. The Androgynous Nataraja, the Sikkimese myths of the mountain god, and the union of Padmasambhava and Mandaravas, the snatches of meaningful songs, delightful songs, and the paintings evoking the spirit of the stories. All these and more come together not only to make Shivalite and other stories a pleasure to peruse, but also a unique expression of creativity. It was a most rewarding experience for me to go through this book, and I hope you will enjoy it too. I wholeheartedly wish Joita resounding success in this and all her future creative endeavors.